well over 50% are paranoid schizophrenic, and the others may well one day be or have been. A large number of them are very acutely suicidal, so to threaten a skyjacker with the possibility of death is like telling a child, if you'll be bad, I'll give you candy. There are certain rather uniform characteristics about them, including a most unusual aspect of dream life in which they dream of being able to fly. It's rather startling to talk to a 50-year-old man and have him tell you a seven-year-old child's dream and at the same moment know that this man has committed a crime on board an aircraft in which he's forced the pilot to make his dream come true. There's one little airline that has real short cut skirts and real sexy sort of a rig. And that one little airline has been hit in complete disproportion to the magnitude of the traffic that it hauls. But here is a man who has really no sexual experience at all. And he looks at a hostess as a sexual symbol. And when he takes his gun and sticks it in this good looking girl's belly and says, honey, we're going all the way to Cuba. He may very well be making the first sexual gesture in his life. And he often comments with pleasure how happy he was to see the fear in her eye. First time in his life he's ever scared a woman. You don't, you don't understand. You have all the Israeli propaganda, and uh, you think the Arabs, you know, they're the dirty Arabs. And uh, for us, we have to fight outside our territory, and uh, we have to bring the whole world to understand our case. The people that you helped to release were responsible for the death of a small child. What are your feelings about that? Um, Could I answer this? Uh, you just said a death of a small child. I want to ask you uh, the death of 30 children of a school in Egypt, the death of about 70 uh, human workers in Egypt, the death of people in, uh, in Erbad here, the death of many human beings who have been killed and murdered, I could say, uh, by the Israelis. In a sense, when we think about hijacking, we can make an argument against science. Because if it hadn't been for science, we wouldn't have had airplanes. If we didn't have airplanes, we wouldn't have had airplane hijacking. And so we could argue, therefore, it would have been better if we wouldn't have had science. Well, I've got a wristwatch and uh, some keys and a tie clip, belt buckle, I think it's about it. Fine. Suppose you just proceed through the gate. Now let's try it uh, with a weapon. have made their own bombs from coca tins and bottles. There are plenty of headaches in this one. <laughs> 